All right, so this morning I went out and I tried some different bass tactics on snook in the salt water and it worked really well, but I got my friggin' butt kicked, dude. I was getting broken off really bad. So I went out this afternoon, bought some new leader, some 30 pound fluorocarbon that I'm gonna rig up and I bought some more jigs and some more crankbaits and I'm excited, man. So just, you know, very typical, normal stuff. Two Strike King KVDs right there. I think those are gonna work wonders around bridges. Um, two football jigs right here. I don't even, the color is very similar. I would say that the Alabama craw color kinda. And then one kind of little uh, hitching, flipping jig right here. It's half ounce. That's just kind of what we're dealing with. What else? Picked up a lipless. We'll try that and see how that works as well. A red eyed shad. And kind of not with that theme, but a spool tech right there. So that is some new garbage I went and picked up today that we'll probably be throwing a lot of that today just to see how it works and try something different. But it's about four in the afternoon, a little late. We're gonna get rolling, see if we can catch some snook. All right, I'm gonna start off throwing the crankbait right here. You know, I don't mind catching snook slow and bouncing jigs or shrimp and all that kind of good stuff, but if I can catch them moving, I much prefer to try to catch them moving. So we're gonna see if we can get them on the crankbait underneath this bridge and if not then we'll put a jig on and flip it for a while and the bridge not working we'll move on try something different oh on right there right at the crankbait right next to the boat just came up and ate that yes Oh my gosh. I felt, I can feel the crank shaking in his mouth. Oh my gosh, dude, what the heck? He just woke up. God, good Lord. Okay, he's coming back out of this. He's a decent sized snook, but he just like, really, cause he ate right next to the boat, didn't fight. He just kind of woke up instantly. Start pulling them away from the uh, bridge, I think, here. Oh, he is shaking like an animal. That's a good snook. Now I'm thinking about how to land this thing because I do not have my net with me because I took it out when I was cleaning the boat and I forgot to bring it with me again. Just like this morning, I forgot to bring it from since then. And he's got two treble looks fat in his mouth. There you go, nice snook on this crankbait. How about that? How about that right there? Snook on a deep diving crankbait. That is very, very cool to see that it works. And he ate that right next to the boat and he fought so hard. We're gonna unhook him and get him released. All right, there's our snook right there. That's a good one. He's probably 26 inches, 25. We're gonna release him and keep rolling. All right, we made our run with the crankbait and we caught one fish, which is pretty good, more than I expected to be honest. But we're gonna fish with the uh, set of pilings now with the jig real quick right here, just with the little twin tail trailer. And you know, a lot of people I feel like, you know, they would fish this bridge with the crankbait and they wouldn't get any more bites and they'd say, all right, well, the bridge is done. We're gonna move on and go to a different spot. But for me, I don't think it's so black and white where it's like I had one eat the crankbait, so that's what the snook wanna eat. They wanna eat a crankbait. I think certain snook wanna eat the crankbait and certain snook might wanna eat the jig. So we're gonna make another run through with the jig and see if we get any bites. And if not, then we'll move on. All right, I think that'll do it for the old jig here, but we are gonna keep moving to the next bridge. All right, bridge numero dos. Still throwing a jig right here. It's a little too shallow at this bridge, I think, to throw the crankbait. Maybe I'll bust it out if the jig's not getting bit, but I think we'll be good. We'll see. 
All right, spot number two was a no-go, but that's okay. We're gonna keep hopping. Next bridge, so we can keep going. All right, bridge number three, and we're throwing the crankbait, the deep diver. We're gonna see what happens here. This is where we lost a good one earlier to the pilings. And I kind of returned to a bunch of the same spots I fished this morning. Just because I kind of want revenge on the fish that I lost. Now is that going to happen? I don't know. It'd be nice though, right? We're going to make a run with the crankbait through all the uh, slats in the bridge. And then we'll switch over to the jig, which is what we got bit on here. But I didn't throw a crankbait here. I'm getting so much grass. Things are freaking flying in the current. I'm on a fish here. Turn. Turn. Oh. I was on a fish. I don't know if he's still on or not. No. Oh my gosh. What the frick? Dude. It's a ribbon fish. Get away from me. <laughs> that freaked me out, dude. <sighs> you are the creepiest fish on the planet. Oh my god. That freaking <laughs> got a demon <laughs> you guys ready to see one of the creepiest fish you've ever seen in your life how about that guy right there Look at them. These are without a doubt one of the creepiest looking fish ever. This is a ribbon fish right here. Look at that mouth. What a freak. That is the first ribbon fish I've ever caught on an artificial. I've caught one before in a finger mullet when I was younger. Look at that mouth. What a creep. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna release this guy. Ribbon fish has been released. I was trying to take a picture of it with my phone for Instagram and he swam off without me even filming the release. So there's that. No lie, when that ribbon fish first came to the surface when I was reeling it in, I literally jumped back. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the GoPro or not, because that thing literally gives me the jeebs when it first came out of the water. I was like, what the heck is swimming at me? I don't know. It might not. Must have been wearing down from brushing against the bottom of the pilings. My line's completely frayed. It felt like I got hit, but I don't know if I did or not. Fishing line. I caught. That is got to be one in a million chance right there. If you see, my treble hook went through the eye of this old, nasty, rusty J hook here. Well, there you go. Cleaning the river up. How about that? Alright, nothing on the crankbait other than that ribbon fish, and we've worked the whole line, so we're going to cut this off and put on a jig. You know, earlier this morning when I came out in the past video, I was throwing the jig, and that's where I hooked a good size snook on this bridge, and the timing is beautiful right now. we got strong current, low light. This is very good fishing conditions here. So, we'll tie this bad boy on, see if we can stick something. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Just missed one right there. I put the jig on, and we're just going to do one last try on this section here where I got thumped about four or five times just to kind of give them an honest effort and say at least we tried. Okay. The 
problem is that the current has stopped moving. So it's just dead low tide right now. So there's no current movement. When there's no current movement, the fish don't feed very well. So they're a little trickier to get the bite. There's one though. Oh, feels like, oh my God. What the hell? I don't even know where my line just broke. It didn't break at the leader. Okay. This has been the worst day ever. That was a freaking monster. All right. I don't know if I've ha ever had a more frustrating day of fishing in my entire life. I guess days when you don't get a single bite, but today where I was getting freaking crushed and just getting broke off over and over again. And then the, today, this after, that was this morning. Then this afternoon I came out and it was okay. You know, I caught a snook on the crankbait, caught that phone's ringing. You know, I caught a snook on the crankbait. I caught that really creepy freaking ribbon fish on the crankbait as well. And you know, I'm fishing this bridge. I'm really putting my time in and I didn't get any bites on the crankbait. Except that last one and I got snapped off. And that was kind of me being lazy where I didn't retie after catching that ribbon fish. And they have nasty teeth. So he probably sliced or nicked up my line a little bit and it snapped off when I finally got hitting on the crankbait. But I go through, I throw the jig and I get hit like five or six times on the jig. And every time I swing at him, just miss I'm striking out and I don't know if it's big fish or little fish or what's going on but I'm just not hooking up and so I run through the piling sets again just like all right I'm gonna give it one more honest chance because you can tell it's pretty dark now and I'm throwing a jig in there and I get smashed and I just swing so hard on that fish and my drag on that little Calcutta is not tight at all the even at, at max drag it's like seven pounds I think it really doesn't have a very strong drag at all so I'm not worried about snapping I didn't have my thumb against my spool I wasn't pressuring it and my line just broke I felt that fish surge and it felt monstrous I felt my rod completely arced over and that fish surge and he ran about 10 yards and then my line just went zoom and snap it didn't snap at the leader it didn't snap at my leader knot it snapped inside the guides of my rod and i had people warn me about that vanished berkeley fluorocarbon that it is garbage and they said if you get a single nick in it that it will be super weak and it'll break and i've used it before and i haven't had trouble with it before and now it has just been awful man like i lost that fish because the line broke inside my guides and that just shouldn't happen so i don't know man i'm frustrated so that line's coming off i'm going to put different fluorocarbon leave suggestions of what type of fluorocarbon you guys think i should put on it because i'm pissed off right now honestly like i said this is the most frustrated i've been fishing in a long time and i'm very normally very mellow very cool don't get angry fishing but today has wore me down man <laughs> especially because this morning i came out and i lost two jigs i lost a crankbait so i went to gander today i, I don't even like gander to be honest but i went to gander today and i bought three more jigs and then two more crankbaits and i lost a crankbait and i lost a jig so i've just been losing money left and right losing fish left and right today has not been good but it's definitely been exciting i can say all right i'm done complaining and griping i appreciate you guys if you've stuck with me listening to me complain for the past two minutes i appreciate you guys very much i hope you enjoyed the video i know it was just strange and weird but you guys are awesome i appreciate you see you